Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your old device into an Android Auto Clone in a Dashboard Command Center. Now auto manufacturers are slowly starting to debut models with Google's new Android Auto software baked in. Starting with the 2016 model year, we should see vehicles from Honda, Ford, Chevrolet, and many others sporting the new software. But if you'd rather not wait, or simply don't plan on buying a car for a little while, a new app called Automate from developer Kataf Alam has essentially cloned the Android Auto interface in most of its functionality. This would be a great way to put your old Android device to good use. I could definitely picture mounting my old Nexus 7 to my dashboard and rocking this software while I drive around town. The app is still in its early stages of development right now, so you'll need to sign up to be a beta tester if you'd like to use it. To get started, head to the Automate Google Plus community, which I have linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. From here, tap the Join button to join the Automate community. After that, just scroll down a bit to this first stickied post in the community, then tap the Google Play link. From here, tap the Become a Tester button, then you'll get a message saying that you are now a tester. Next, hit the link that says Download it from the Play Store, then you'll be taken to the app's install page. At this point, you can just install the app like any other. Now with the app installed, you'll get a nice little overview. Go ahead and read through these, and make sure to accept the agreement while you're at it. The app can be used in either portrait or landscape mode, but I imagine most folks would use it in landscape, so let me switch this all around. Now in landscape mode, you can really see how this app would be a nice Android Auto alternative. There's relevant Google Now style cards on the home screen, with a voice search button up top and quick links down below. If you want to access your music controls, there's a bit of setup you'll need to do first. Tap Enable Notification Access on this message, then on the following screen, tick the box next to Automate and press OK on the pop-up. Once you head back to Automate at this point, you can control music playback with an easy to use interface. Beyond that, you've got a quick link to your dialer, which lets you search contacts by name and make calls easily. In the left corner here, there's a link to Google Maps, which open from within Automate so the experience is fully immersive. Then of course the button in the middle brings you back to the home screen, just like Android Auto. Finally, the button on the bottom right is your favorite apps and shortcuts. From here tap Add Shortcuts, then on this next screen you can add shortcuts for any of your installed apps. Then if you head back to the home screen again, you can use the side navigation menu to access the app's settings. From here, there are plenty of options. You can enable miles per hour, put the speedometer on top, and you've even got weather options. Swiping over to the next tab, you've got options for voicemail and SMS. Then you have a support tab, where you can view information about the app. Then back over here, you've got an option for disabling the lock screen on your device, as well as some theming options. On the Maps tab, you can set your home and work addresses and other map related options. So in the end, it's a great dashboard app and it's definitely got the Android Auto interface down pat. But for a more in-depth review, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!